Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and it's time for my July favorites. I love sharing my favorites with you every month. I just pick my top 10 or 12 favorite products, things that I really really enjoyed whether they were new releases or rediscovered older things that are in my collection currently. What I was grabbing, what I was loving and enjoying and I like to share a lot of product combinations as well. I did finish two books in July, but nothing I super loved, so I won't be having a favorite book this month. I do, however, have two fashion favorites that I want to share with you. I know this is pretty rare for me. I'm not, I know this is going to shock you, but I'm not really known as a fashionista. I'm just really rocking that old navy tank top game like all the time. I did actually get fancied up for a date night and I wore this dress that I absolutely love. I actually got this on Amazon and it was under $20. Amazon clothes shopping can be pretty hit or miss. Sometimes it's just complete garbage but every once in a while you really find a diamond in the rough and this dress is definitely that for me. I'll show you some pictures over here. It's this really cute little short cotton off the shoulder floral print dress. It does have a belt that is not attached so you could get rid of the belt if you wanted to. I just think this dress is so cute, so flattering, so easy. I wore it on a date night out with a pair of little like wedges and it was really super comfortable. It actually feels like it's well made and the fabric is pretty decent quality. I just wish that it had pockets. If it had pockets it would be absolutely perfect. But I felt really comfortable and really cute in it and I think you could wear this dress styled a little bit more casually as well if you just put on some little flat sandals and maybe a little cardigan or something. Either way, I really enjoyed it. I got the red color. There are several different colors and patterns. So I got the red one and I ordered a size small. It fits me perfectly. I actually end up ordering a lot of my clothes from Amazon and it's pretty 50-50 on how that turns out. But this is one of the best pieces I've ever found. So I definitely wanted to share it with you. The other fashion item I wanted to share with you are these sunglasses. I bought these when I was on vacation in Las Vegas. There was a key store in the mall that we were at and I'd never been into a key store. I really need to try on sunglasses because often even just regular size sunglasses look way too big for my face. I really struggle to find things that aren't too wide for my head. So I found these. This style is called Gotta Run and apparently I just looked this up on the Key website and apparently these are a collaboration that was not advertised at all in the store. So I had no idea that these were actually a collaboration. I absolutely love these. These actually fit my face really well. They don't look too oversized and too crazy. There are two different colors in this style. There's a tortoise shell. I got the matte black with the smoky colored lens. Let me wipe my foundation off. <laughs> One thing that I really appreciate about these shades, besides the fact that they're not too massive for my face, is they don't have the nose pads. They don't have the little like protruding nose pads. It's just this smooth little nose pad area. I love that because when I'm wearing my sunglasses, I always push them up and put them up onto my head. And when they have those little nose pad arms, they consistently get stuck in my hair, especially because my hair is usually pulled up and then it's like yanking my hair out of my ponytail. So that's another feature I always look for in my sunglasses. I've also got a ton of compliments on these, so I've really enjoyed these. These are pretty expensive. I think I paid $60 for these, but it's worth the investment because it's something that I use consistently every day. And I just, I really like these. They're well made, so it's worth the $60 to me, but I really like this style. If you have a small face and you struggle to find small enough glasses, try the Gotta Run style. I have two favorite nail polishes from this month. The first one I wanna talk about is from OPI. This is from their summer collection and in true OPI fashion, it has a super long name. It's called Sun, Sea, and Sand in My Pants which doesn't sound great, but it does look good on your nails. This is such a pretty, creamy, really bright, like dandelion yellow. Great summer color. This made me very, very happy to have it on my nails. So that's my first nail polish favorite. 
and I'm on a hot streak this year. My other nail polish favorite I actually am wearing on my nails. It's a Christmas miracle. This one's from Orly. I got like a mini set with a bunch of the shades from this collection, but I think you still can find the full size ones on Amazon as well. This is from their fall collection from last year and the shade is called Nebula. I could not believe the opacity. What is on my nails right now is one coat. Literally, completely opaque and perfect. I was shocked. So good. It's so pretty. It's this beautiful like purpley navy color with a bunch of teeny tiny silver micro glitters. It looks like outer space. The performance is just incredible. I used to rave about my Orly polishes a lot and they kind of got overshadowed by my obsession with my Butter London polishes for a while. But wearing this polish makes me want to go and just bust out all my Orly polishes because I forgot how good and opaque these shades are. I have two face favorites. One I did review on my channel and one I've just been wearing behind the scenes but didn't do a full review on. This highlighter, first of all, I love this packaging. It's got this really pretty rose gold look packaging and the lid. It's super easy to open and it's magnetic. Something's just very satisfying about that. This is the Light Source Mega Beam Highlighter from Lorac in the shade Celestial. I know she doesn't look like much in the pan, just an everyday regular highlighter, but I just barely touched into the pan and it is so smooth, so bright, but it's not super, super metallic. It's still got that really soft ethereal type of glow that I love. When you blend it out, oh my goodness, it's just everything. This is the highlighter that I'm wearing on my cheeks today and I know quite often in my bloopers I'll talk about getting distracted by my highlighter and anytime that I said that this month I was wearing this Lorac highlighter because it's so stunning. I just can't take my eyes off of it. Lorac, why are you so underrated all the time? I should make a video about why Lorac is so underrated. Probably nobody would watch it. Let me get my palette opening tool. NARS should release a palette opening tool because their palettes are so impossible to open. My other face favorite is this little trio palette from the NARS Private Paradise collection. This is the Motu Tane palette. I did do a review on the entire Private Paradise collection where I swatched this and demoed it and I have just been using it non-stop. I'm wearing the bronzer and the blush today alongside that Lorac highlighter. NARS face palettes are always something that I rave about. Not only are their powders really high quality and beautifully curated, but they're such a good value when you compare something like this to buying individual face powders from NARS. Plus, you know, cute packaging never hurt my feelings either. My NARS face palettes, particularly these little trio type of products, are something that I continually reach for. I get a ton of use out of these. They're so convenient. They're so good. Definitely a summer favorite here that I'm going to be able to carry throughout the year. Let's talk about eye favorites. No surprise here, they're both from ColourPop. This is actually a combination of products that I really enjoyed. First of all, this California Love palette I did review on my channel. I gave this a really, really good review. I did not expect to like this. The only shade that I don't touch is the pressed glitter. You probably already know how I feel about pressed glitters. They're not my thing. But the rest of this palette is so warm and cozy and just, mm, it just looks so good. Every single time I wear this, I'm happy. And I've been pairing it with this Super Shock shadow. This is the shade I Like You. This is such a cool shade because it has like a golden peachy base, but it also has a little bit of a pink shift to it. It really is a special and interesting shade. Can you see that little like pink flip? 
I don't know, it doesn't look like much in the pan, but once it's applied, I think it is so cool. I actually wore this combo for the date night that I was talking about when I mentioned that floral dress earlier. I wore my California Love palette with a little bit of the I Like You shade kind of on the inner part of my eye and blend it out onto my lid. It's such a fun way to add some subtle interest to a look. I love adding just a little bit of color to a mostly neutral look. That's just kind of my comfort zone. That's my happy place. I really wish that I could replace this pressed glitter with this super shock the sweet talk palette had a super shock in it so i wish that this palette had this super shock instead of a pressed glitter but i'm not in charge here last up are my two favorite lip products of the month this one should be no surprise because i was wearing it in literally half my videos if you go and check the description box of all my videos i list what's on my eyes what's on my lips and what's on my nails you can probably kind of predict what's going to be in my favorites at least partially because i really do wear my favorite things over and over again this is the chapstick tinted lip oil in the shade blushed bronze i have been truly hooked on this it's just been sitting on my vanity and i wear it pretty much every single day it looks so good it's definitely really nourishing hydrating it feels yummy it looks juicy just adds the right amount of color it's almost like your lips but better kind of shade on me plus oil i'm actually wearing this on top of another lip color my other favorite for the month this is the ColourPop matte x lippy sticks in the shade byron babe this is such a beautiful raspberry warm pink type of shade. Doing a little bit brighter lip is something that I like to do to add some color because I do like to wear a lot of more warm neutral looks like what I'm wearing today or what I can get from my California Love palette. I am planning on doing a top 10 lippy sticks video so if that's something you would be interested in, leave a comment and let me know. I did already do my top luxe lipsticks. Probably just gonna work my way through all the ColourPop products and give you my top picks from everything. But I think I'm gonna do lippy sticks next. Let me know if you're interested in that and what other top favorites you wanna see. Now's the time when I wanna hear what your favorite things were for the month of July. I always get such good recommendations from you, so I really appreciate when you share your favorite things with us here. What are your favorite books? What's your favorite makeup? Do you have any product combos that you think we should try out that you've been loving? I always love to hear what you guys are enjoying too, so leave it in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 don't knock everything over. Oh, you're gonna knock everything over. All right, that's cool. It's fine. We're good. I'm good. It's good. Nailed it. That's, that's where we are at this point. That's fine. Why would you even say that? Recommend some, some. Okay, let's just move on. Let me look. Why am I narrating this? No one knows. I'm wearing lipstick with lip gloss over it and I feel like if I take a drink, it's gonna completely wreck my lip look, but also I'm thirsty. So let's see what happens. I need a straw. Oh wait, no, straws are bad now. Expert level. Oh my gosh, my lippy stick's so dirty. Clean it off for you because I respect you. Who is she? Bright lip, funky earrings, hair down. <laughs> Who is she? She's so bright. I'll try to remember to link these earrings. I think they were super cheap on Amazon too, but I thought they were fun. And they match my tank top a little bit. Oh, sorry, that's a bra. <laughs> Just the epitome of glass. Honestly, I mean, look, obviously, I don't know what, I don't, I don't know what that was. I don't, I honestly don't know what that was. I have no excuse for my behavior. I'm just weird. Okay. All right. Uh, see you next month.